some rowdy, rowdy Piper for you. Quietly. Yeah. Boy. I'm going to buy some bagpipes. I'm going to start a Patreon thing. And you guys are going to give me all your money. And I'm going to have bagpipes. And I'm going to have all the things for the wrestler intros, bro. Woo! Here's my promise. If y'all stay online, there's nine people. If y'all stay online for another half an hour, I'm gonna go get another drink and we're gonna do some Undertaker intro. Undertaker, Undertaker. <laughs> I'll rip this. Steph, Steph, you were a little bit of my inspiration for Top Rope Pinball. Of course, Matt Quantz with his woos and everything in my wrestler background and my Triple H Shop It at TPF 2018. This started it all, but you with your player number, that's that's part of my thing, and and I appreciate you guys, and the Slam Tilt guys, and Bruce and Ron, and Teolus and Marty, and, and Zach, and Dennis Creasel, and all the people. I mean, Colin the Cowpoint has been my support, he is top-notch player, and he still shares information and helps me grow as a player. Phil Grimaldi, um, even Mark Mazur, Mr. Coffin Drop himself, is a part of me. The, the, the pinball community is a part of me. Everybody is, you know, Kerry Wing from the Oklahoma City Tournament. Um, Travis Murray, um... Uh, I think I mentioned Phil, Phil Grimaldi. Um, gosh, Elizabeth Trudeau. Trudeau. Fuck, I, I'm just. Elizabeth Cromwell. Doug Polka. All those guys. I mean, it's just. It's just in me. And I want to. I want to share this out there through my stream. I want to share the entertainment, the enthusiasm, the incitement, the, the gameplay, and all the things. And you're probably chatting some shit right now about how drunk I am, but man, I just can't, I, I can't describe what it is to be part of this co pinball community and this bond with all you people and Kate Martin and, and I don't really know Elwin very well, but you know, Steve Bowden moved down here to San Antonio and the bond I have with Steve, although it's awkward because Steve is Steve is still... I just, I, I just don't even know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Fliptronics, Jordan, Becca, new to the pinball scene. They bought one of their first machines for me. They bought a Jokers for me. Jordan bought a Jokers. Becca came over to my house. They didn't know who I was. They don't know who I am. And they're, they're growing on me. And, and Jordan's helped me with stuff and streaming. And Phil Grimaldi with the streaming and, and the pinball network and, Oh my God, I'm going to fucking cry right now. Just the bond I have with you people right now. The bond I have. Share me out there. I want you all in the chat commenting right now. I just, I don't care about the advertisement dollars or anything like that. I just want to be the person that brings you all together. Replay FX is gone. And it makes me tear up. I listened to Slam Tilt this morning and I wanted to fucking cry. I wanted to fucking cry because Replay FX was next level stuff. I don't care about Whopper points. I don't care about all that stuff. I just, the pinball community and the support and, and like, things like Bruce losing the Silver Football Saloon. I wanted to go up there. I wanted to be part of the Silver Ball Saloon. Ten balls. Ray Day, all these people, I just, I just, I just, I can't even right now. I can't even right now. 
I can't even right now. I can't even right now. The, the loss I feel from all of you from this COVID bullshit. And I shouldn't even be streaming right now. I shouldn't even be playing pinball right now. <sighs> Fuck. 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 I love you all in an each individual way and I can't communicate that. Am I the best person in the world? Am I have my moments when I'm over passionate and pissed off about my play or whatever? It's not against any given personality. It's because I'm so passionate about this sport and I don't want it to die with all this COVID shit. And Jesse Smith with, with Buffalo Billiards and and we've lost that, and I'm hoping Pin Pin Cider Cave will fill that. And we got some gamers that shooters, but it's just not the same, man. It's just not the fucking same. And I'm tired of I'm tired of COVID. Wear your mask. Isolate yourself. Let's get through this. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys are gonna clip this or what you're gonna share of this. It's 12, 13 right now on a weekday work night and I'm just tired of it and I'm at my breaking point. And thank you to somebody like Carl D'Angelo that refocuses us in, in just in the enjoyment of pinball and the enjoyment, enjoyment of tournament pinball. And if you want me to show up, shut up. I'm not reading all this in the chat. I know you're watching. I know you're commenting. I see Fliptronics on there. I see Pinball Primpus. I see Snail Man, Colin McAlpine. I see IE Pinball. I see... I see Carl D'Angelo, and I just want things to go back to the way they were. I want to be able to go to Indesk in, in January. I want to be able to go to Pinburg, which will never happen again. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. <sighs> I agree. All right, somebody, somebody pick a challenge. Somebody pick a challenge to go to bed and turn me off or whatever. Just, just pick, pick a damn challenge. I'm, I'm fixing to be drunk and blow this shit up. Oh my gosh. Here's your challenges, Mr. Pacific Time. It's only 12:15 here. I gotta work tomorrow. Damn it. All right, let's pick something besides Fredda. Fredda kiss my butt right now. Extra ball. Extra ball. We've got two ways to do this. Extra ball. We can get six red. Excuse me, three DNAs. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's play some pinball. <laughs> 